In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this prismatic lighting effect, also known as caustics, inside Cinema 4D and Redshift Render. Let's go. OK, we're inside Cinema 4D, and I've got a very basic scene set up. I've got my plane, some lights pointing to the center, as well as a camera. So let's first create our gemstone shape, which I like to use the platonic shape for this. Make it smaller something like 50 centimeters and place it into the middle of the camera something like this works and now let's create a new material apply it to our shape here and for diffuse we want to make that zero we don't need it here and for refraction let's make that one and now it's completely transparent and we want to click off link to reflection and the IRR I'm going to match it to the IRR of diamond which if you google it is 2.418 and now to create this rainbow effect inside the gemstone here we want to add some dispersion into it and if we use one, to me, it's a little bit too much, but depending on what you're going for, you could keep it. And for the project, I used something like five. And now we need to add a RS object tag to our gemstone here. And under visibility, click override and make sure cast caustic photons is turned on. And also under our render settings, redshift advanced, make sure our caustics is turned on here and we also have this blur radius setting which is important this controls how sharp the reflections are going to be so you can play around with the number here and now let's create our first spotlight i'm going to add a target tag and drag our gemstone onto it in order to make it easier to target it and under details of the spotlight we want to turn off diffuse and reflection we don't really need it and click on caustic photons and for intensity i'm going to go with 10 and for photons which controls the quality of the render i'm going to increase that to 1 million and we don't see anything yet, but that's because we haven't turned on our bucket render. This effect only shows up in bucket rendering. Okay, so as we can see, we already have some caustic or prism lighting reflections on the plane already. And in order to add more, we can create a second spotlight. And maybe this one could be closer. Okay, there we go. And now to add some finishing touches to our gemstone, I want to add some scratches and imperfection on the surface. So I opened up my node editor, press C to bring up our menu, and search for texture. And I'm going to add my texture map here. C to bring up a bump map insert it into input and insert it to our bump map here and for our height scale we want to make that subtle so I'm going to make it 0.05 and I'm just going to increase that scale a bit or make, make these scratches smaller so let's try five five while wow. having the texture selected i'll bucket rendering on to see what the result is and i think something like this looks really good we always want to add a bit of imperfection onto our surfaces to make it a bit more realistic 
So anyway, hope you found that useful. If you made something from this tutorial, I love to see it. You can uh, connect with me on Instagram, send me a DM. Other than that, hope you have a good day. Happy creating.